Hey everyone, this is going to be a haul video, and I haven't done a haul in a little bit, um, just because money's been super tight for me, but I did have, I do have some products that I wanted to share with you guys, also products that I just recently purchased that I've been using, and I really wanted to show you and talk to you about the ones that I really like and the ones that I really don't, or really didn't. So, I'm going to get started with um, pills, and these are vitamins technically. These are nature made biotin um, supplements. There's 50 of them in here. They're from nature made. And this is the five, um, the superior potency ones. And these are probably the most, um, the strongest ones that you can get is the 5,000. And it comes with 50 tablets. And these are um, actually really small. They kind of, they're like pink and they're Easter egg colored. I'm sure they all look different depending on what pill you get, but if you don't like swallowing pills like me, um, this is as small as the pill is. It's really, really tiny. So if you have a problem swallowing pills, these would be perfect for you. These are about $7 at Target and you get 50 soft gels and you start to see a difference in about 30 days. So I've been taking these for a little over a week and I haven't quite seen a difference yet. Um, I did cut my hair and I've been coloring my hair and I've been shaping my nails and stuff like that. And it's also, biotin's also good for your, um, your skin as well. It's for healthy hair, skin, and nails. <clears throat> so I will let you guys know kind of an update on how the biotin pills work. I just really want something to make my nails a little bit stronger. It's typically more for my nails and my hair, but if it's going to help my skin as well, um, I don't really have too much problems in the skin area. But we'll see. Um, moving on to more skincare products. Um, <clears throat> my favorite, do you guys know my favorite um, cleansing cloths from, to remove my makeup are Pond's. And I love the Pond's Evening Soothe White Tea Chamomile ones. They're really, they smell so good and they're just so refreshing. Like I would much rather just spend the money on these than buy the bigger version, like the big box of them at BJ's. So that's what I've been doing. I've just been purchasing these. And I actually tried out some new ones that I just kind of wanted to see. I got the sample size of the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts um, Cleansing Facial Cloths. They just look like this. You've probably seen the larger versions. They've been on most displays at Targets, um, pretty much all Targets that I've seen. And these are very natural for you. They're good. They have good vital um, vitamins in them. They have a lot of B5, which are good and they kind of help restore and smooth your skin. And there's no alcohol, no oil, they're not drying, there's, they're not greasy, um, there's no perfumer dyes, and there's no harsh irritants. So these are really great for sensitive skin. And yeah, these I think are, these are thinner than normal cleansing cloths, but I think that's good if you really wanna get around your eye area because these take off waterproof mascara. I don't typically take my makeup off, off my eye makeup with cleansing cloths, I take that off in the shower, but I do take the excess around my eyes and I think these are better because they're softer to go around your eyes. So if you're wondering about uh, picking these up, they definitely have the samples. This was seven, seven cloths for $2. So, or you can get, I think they're either 20, 25, I think you can get for $6. So I just pick these up instead. And another face product on something that I didn't like, and this is just in a plastic bag because it was very messy. This is a green tea peel off mask that I purchased from Ulta. It was by, I was waiting in line for so long to check out that I was just playing around with their displays. And I picked this up. That's just what it looks like. And the mask itself actually looks like this gooey color that's in the plastic bag because some of it kind of leaked out. Um, Okay, so this is the first mask that I ever tried, and pretty much you exfoliate your skin or cleanse your skin, you apply it to your face, you wait 15-20 minutes, you peel it off. Um, I, I'm i so like torn on this because I feel like my skin felt a lot, felt better, um, not significantly better, but felt a little bit better after removing the mask, but my problem was removing the mask. Um, I felt that it just stuck to everything. Um, I had a piece of it in my eyebrows for a really long time and I tried so hard to like get it around my eye area so that it wasn't tugging on any of my skin and it was so thin like the 
because it's such a watery consistency that it kind of ran into my eyebrows and it hurt and I actually had some like in my hair and everything like that. It was fine once you wash it out, but you kind of had to scrub it a little bit and it was kind of painful and I don't know. I don't know how I feel about using masks that can kind of like run and stuff like that. I mean, this was $2 in Ulta. It was on their little like um, stands by the checkout. So um, I love the smell of it. This one was green tea. It had green tea and ginger. And I love the smell of this because, and especially because I hate green tea and I don't typically like the smell of ginger, but I actually really liked this a lot. So I will probably try these masks again, but that's my only con to these was that it was so runny that I couldn't, I couldn't really catch it when it was like running off and getting like stuck in my hair. <clears throat> so hair products. Um, I did dye my hair recently. You probably can't tell. Most people can't. I can't even tell sometimes. Um, I did use, the only dyes I ever use are the, um, the Clairol Natural Instincts dyes, and this one is in 28G Dark Golden Brown. It just looks like this. That's what the color is supposed to look like, and I actually grabbed the wrong box. Um, I have another box of dye underneath my cabinet that I just re-dyed my hair, and it is a... Um, caramel cream it's the natural instincts cream colors but in caramel cream and it gave my hair some more brown tones to it which is what I like um, I would like my hair to have a little bit more brownish warm brown color especially for the spring coming um, my hair was super dark in the winter and it was red not red but it was like a burgundy tinted previously so um, I've been trying to pull the warmness out of my hair by testing out different dyes um, I know they're damaging to your hair. These ones I found to be the less damaging and the most recommended by a lot, a lot of um, salons. Like, I went into a salon and I was trying to figure out the pricing and I'm on such a tight budget because I live in an apartment and everything. Um, and they said if you were gonna dye your hair, they recommended something from a salon or the Clairol Natural Instincts. So um, I use this, I actually use this my senior year of high school and um, I dyed my hair black, but I really do like the Clairol line. Now for curling my hair, a lot of people are asking me how I curl my hair, and if I sound stuff up, it's because of the allergies. It was 70 degrees yesterday, and it's 36 out right now. The weather here is crazy. Okay, so back to curling my hair. Um, I use a one inch curling iron from Conair to curl my hair. It's the most basic one you can find. If you go into Walmart, you go to the cheapest end of the Conair, of the curling iron section, and you find the Conair hot sticks. It's the $10 one inch one. And I actually went out and I purchased the one and a quarter inch curling iron. This is what it looks like. And, um, my sister actually uses the larger one and I wanted to try just a larger barrel and this was $12 so these are super super cheap and I don't understand why there's such bad reviews on them um, typically the reviews on these curling irons were because people don't have to curl their hair and they buy a curling iron and they see someone who's curled their hair and they're like oh my god your curls look awesome and they go try and curl their hair and most of the reviews on these curling irons say that they are soup. They, they crimp their hair. They rip their hair out. They don't curl their hair properly, and people just hate them and they throw them away. That's because you don't know how to curl your hair. If you know how to curl your hair, you'll know that you can put it on the highest heat setting, but it's not recommended if you wanted loose curls like this. Um, I use between 17 to 19 or 21, 19 to 21. It goes up to 25 and that's all I use. Um, I don't use the highest heat setting. You can use the highest heat setting, you don't have to. Um, and typically you need to have like a rhythm of how you are curling your hair. Um, so like I said, typically people don't really know how to curl their hair before and they just buy one and try and use it. So I'm gonna try and do a video um, on how I curl my hair like this and then I'm gonna do different curling videos because I curl my hair all different ways, just depends on the day. Um, so I will be showing you guys how to use these kind of curling irons and how you can use them without damaging your hair and having that crimped look because believe me, I was that girl. I bought the curling iron and I crimped my hair and I was like, screw this and I don't want to use it anymore. And then I started watching some YouTube videos and I learned how to curl my hair. So I feel like YouTube videos are really great for that. 
Um, keeping it on the Ulta bandwagon, um, I picked up this Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman brush. It's the dome-shaped blush brush. Love this brush. It's really great for applying. I use it for a loose powder. Um, I use it for setting my makeup. Um, I think it's a really great brush and it's super, super soft. It's softer than the Sigma brush that I showed you in my What's in My Tray video and I replaced it with this. So definitely recommend these Real Technique brushes just in general. You can buy the sets, you can buy them individually. Um, let's see. I think that's it that I got from Ulta. So from Bath and Body Works, I just picked up another one of my CO Bigelow Rose Salves. Um, I love this. It's always by my nightstand at night. Put it on my lips, keeps them really moisturized so that when I go to put on lipstick, I don't have to worry about, oh, are my lips really patchy today? Because they're not, because I use Rose Salve. And you can also find this at Sephora. Okay. So I'm pretty sure the rest of this is all Target and it's all makeup. So I saved the makeup for last. Um, I picked up two eyeshadows. I don't even know why I picked them up. Um, they had little clearance stickers on them and I thought, sure. These are the Maybelline um, Chic, Chic Naturals um, collection little singles. This one is in Champagne Fizz. It's just a really champagne color. This one's in Tastefully Tote. So, like I said, don't even know why I picked these up because I have the Naked palette and I have taupe colors and I don't need them, but I really like the colors. So I'm gonna test them out. Maybe I'll do a review or do a tutorial with them or something just so you can do like affordable looks. Um, let's see. Okay, so I actually have two products that are from online, but you can purchase them at CVS and Walgreens, I believe. Um, they are the Milani Even Tone Powder Foundations, and I purchased mine online for $5 a piece. And one thing I know about purchasing online is that if you look at this one, it has a sticker on it. It looks damaged on the outside, but the back of it is absolutely perfect. It's just the front, and if you look at the powder, it hasn't been touched. So one thing you need to know is that when you, I typically buy things on eBay. I don't really purchase things on Amazon. I feel like people are either Amazon people or eBay people. I typically buy from eBay. And these products were, I for what I paid with shipping and the product, I paid for less than one of these if you bought it at CVS or Walgreens. And I got the 01 Shell, which I use on an everyday basis to set my Garnier BB cream. They're really finely milled really, really, really finely milled, like comparable to my MAC um, powder that I have, um, my MAC Care Blend powder, which I don't even use anymore. You guys don't even see me use it. I bought it around Christmas time um, when I got a gift card and I don't use it. And this one is 02 um, Fresco. So next to each other, you can tell the difference. I got two because I wasn't sure of the shade um, and I didn't see them in the store. So that's the shade difference, if you guys can tell. So I'm using the lighter one, I'll use the darker one in the winter. Okay, so the rest is from Target. All right, so I picked up another one of my Maybelline Master Drama um, eyeliners in Midnight Master. It's my favorite liner. I use it on my top um, lash line. It's the only eyeliner I use. Um, I picked up some nail polishes. I picked up this Sinful Colors in Ruby Red really pretty red color. I picked up a Revlon Color Stay Longwear Nail Polish, and this one is in Province. It's a really pretty light purple color. Um, I picked up Revlon's Minted. Um, I actually have China Glaze's, um, the mint one from China Glaze, and I thought this one, this one's a little bit cooler tone, but typically the same nail polish. And then I also picked up this one. It's called Dreamer, and it's what I have on my nails today. Just like that. Really beautiful color. This is two coats um, on my nails. So, I think it's super cute. And the rest of the products are lip products. So, I picked up two Revlons and three Sonia Kashuk nail polishes. And I'm not one to pick up Sonia Kashuk products. Um, I have the Hidden Agenda Concealer, but typically I don't really go for their products. 
I don't know why because I definitely should because of what I found. So these are three Sonia Kashuk lipsticks. They are white with silver detailing. They just say Sonia Kashuk and the color is on the end which reminds me of like NYX lipsticks. So these are what the colors look like on the ends that I got. Pretty similar. Um, let's see. The one that I'm wearing today that's been my, my favorite lipstick um, my pretty much my everyday lipstick. It's called Mauve, and it looks like this. It's a really pretty Mauve um, lipstick. I'll put this on my. I'll swatch these for you. So that's what Mauve looks like. And then on your lips, um, that's just what it looks like. It's a really beautiful my lips but better color. I'll be purchasing a back of this because it's hands down my favorite lipstick right now. Um, the next one is ca called Caroline. Looks like this. And that's just what it looks like. It's more of a coral color. And I'll put this next to Mauve. Definitely more of a coral toned, but definitely good for spring and summer. So that right there is Carolina. Caroline. And hands down, my favorite red one ever. This is, I, I can't believe I found these lipsticks. Like my favorite every day and my favorite red um, in the same collection. This is called Sheer Rosebud from, again, Sonia Kashuk. And it just looks like this. It's a beautiful red color. And it looks perfect, absolutely perfect on my lips. And that is the um, Sheer Rosebud. I also like to use this, I'll pat it all over my lips um, with the stick and I'll pat it out with my finger and it'll look like a red lip stain, which is awesome. Um, so I definitely, 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 definitely recommend Sonia Kashuk lipsticks. By far, they are my favorites right now. Two other lipsticks that I picked up, which are my last two items. Um, this one is a Revlon Color Burst Collection lipstick. It's in Petal. It just looks like this. It's a little Revlon in it. It's just a pink color. And this one's kind of, this one's pretty natural. Um, that's what that looks like. That's Petal. And the last one I picked up was kind of a disappointment in a way um, when I had watched videos using this shade, I thought it would be perfect, like that's what my sheer rosebud would be, it would be this color. This is a Revlon um, cream, um, super lustrous lipstick, and the color is in cherries in the snow. And you would think cherries, red, you would think a really red color. And this one does kind of look red, but at the same time, like I'll put a red up next to it and you'll be able to see that this is not the type of red that you would think a red should be. So see how it's like a pink toned red? Um, so it's called Cherries in the Snow and actually it's more of a magenta pinky color. Um, it reminds me of Raspberry Pi from the Revlon Lip Butter Collection and that's what that looks like right there. So that's Sheer Rosebud and that is Cherries in the Snow. And on my lips it almost looks ridiculous. Like I'll have to do a video with it on and just see what people say I guess. Um, but I'm not really crazy about it. Um, all my colors were pretty much in the same like family this month though. I feel like they were all kind of like mauve like natural my lip but better colors and that's pretty much what I love about them. So that was all of my products that I hauled and reviewed for you guys. If you have any questions, um, want any tutorials or specific reviews on any of the products, please let me know. Um, I will be doing like update videos typically if I do another haul or if I just do an update video in general, I will mention the buy tint pills. So I'll tell you if they're working, if I can see that they're working. Um, again, typically they take about a month to start working and then you just continually take them and you take them once a day with a full meal. So that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my blog. I will link it down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.